say about <clears throat> excuse me, the right kind of people. Who you spend your time with will have a great impact on what kind of life you live. There are people who God has already ordained to come across our path to help us fulfill our destiny. People that inspire us, challenge us, make us better. The right people have already been lined up. But here's the key. If you're spending time with the wrong people, you'll never meet the right ones. If you're hanging around people who are not going anyplace, people are dragging you down, causing you to compromise, draining your energy, then you're going to get stuck. You can't hang around chickens and expect to soar with eagles. You're going to become like the people you continually associate with. You want to know what you're going to be like in five years? Look at your friends. If your friends are going places, have a spirit of excellence, kind, generous, courteous, then those qualities are going to rub off on you. Complainers find other complainers. As the saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. My challenge is simple. Make sure you're flocking to the right group. Victorious people associate with other victorious people. Winners hang out with winners. Happy people hang around other happy people. Eagles soar with other eagles. We don't like change. We want it to be just like it was when we were hanging out, growing up together. But it's a new day. You have children. You have parents to take care of. You have more responsibilities. But just because someone is related to you doesn't mean they're connected to you. They may have your blood, but they don't have your spirit. They may not have heard the call God put on your life. This doesn't make them a bad person. It just means God has a different assignment for them. Maybe they're at a different level in their growth, but they're not right for you in this season. This is one of the hardest things we have to deal with, letting go of people who are not supposed to be in our life. Bottom line, don't hold on to what God is asking you to walk away from. Another thought, you shouldn't spend a lot of time with people who are always negative, people that are constantly discouraged. You got to keep them cheered up, keep them fixed. Now I'm all for helping people. I'm all for being a blessing. Sometimes we have to love people back into wholeness. But if you're always giving and never receiving, that's an unhealthy relationship. You need to gradually make a change.